This is, let me see, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, the third day of Passover. So we're just waiting for Passover to end at this point. And so, you know, people who observe Passover and don't eat unleavened bread for eight days, you're just waiting to get back to when you can eat anything you want again. And that's what those people are doing. And of course, today is what they refer to as Holy Saturday, I'm told, which is um, Good Friday is uh, apparently when Jesus died. And Easter Sunday is when Jesus rose up from the dead. So I guess Holy Saturday is just waiting for Jesus to rise up from the dead. And um, so this is, and here we all are just waiting to go back to a time when we can all do what we usually do. So we're all learning about waiting. And um, what you're learning is what every actor already knows, because acting, being an actor is all about waiting. I mean, you know, it's, it, it's really true. You, you wait until you finally get an agent, and then you get an agent, and you go to have a meeting with the agent, and you wait in the waiting room until the agent finally sees you, and then you go in and you speak to the agent, and the agent tells you to go home and wait while the agent gets you an audition. The agent gets you an audition finally, and you go to the audition, and you wait in a waiting room until finally you're called in to audition and you do and then you go home and you wait for your agent to call you and tell you that you did or didn't get the job and usually you didn't get the job and then you go back to being a waiter. That's what it is to be an actor. That's what it is to be all of us right now. Um, so there's a song that Cole Porter wrote. This was all leading to somewhere. There's a song that Cole Porter wrote that I think is the answer to how to wait. Um, Cole Porter was almost 40 years old before he had his first hit song. His first hit song was Let's Do It, Let's Fall In Love. He was almost 40 when he wrote that. So all that time he had been waiting to just have a, a hit song and plugging away at it. The next show he wrote after he wrote Paris, which is the show from which Let's Do It, Let's Fall in Love comes from, was the song, uh, a show for which this was the title song. Um, and I think it tells the whole story. Now, there's a lyric in this song that some people will recognize what it means and some people won't. At the time that Porter wrote this song, which was 1929, everybody would have known that when he says Master Barry, he's referring to J.M. Barry the man who wrote Peter Pan. Anyway, here's the song. And I'm so happy to be able to sing it for you. As they say, as my people say. <laughs> Just in case. It's good stuff. When you grumble and sigh, and you ask yourself why you have the weight of the world on your mind, did you ever reflect? It's because you neglect the dreams that you've left behind. They were gay, they were mad, those dreams you had. And you welcomed them all with open arms. But in giving your life to the world and his wife, you have fallen asleep to their charms. Wake up and dream. It's so easy to dream. Things are really not what they seem. Wake up and dream. Open your eyes. Take a look at the skies. Where the stars so romantically gleam. Wake up and dream. Every moment you're bored is the sword of Harry Carey in you. If you wake up, you'll find in the mind of Master Mary in you. Listen, young man, you were once Peter Pan, and you've simply forgotten your theme. 
When you're conscious that you've fallen into a groove and you've lost all desire for a spree. If you wake up and dream, life will suddenly seem as gay as it used to be. And though any amount of men who count will maintain that you've gone right quiet off your head, never mind what they say. Let your dreams dream away. And you'll still be alive when they're dead.